uh, successfully completes that treatment program, then the judge may dismiss the criminal charge altogether, which means there'll be no record of this individual having been convicted of anything. Now, we can talk about sealing records and, and the benefits that that can have. It's a procedure that the law currently provides for. But in this electronic day and age, we are told, uh, once one is convicted, you can seal that record all you want. It's already out there on the Internet someplace and, and becomes a real impediment to people getting on with their lives. So this is a, a new and very, very attractive way of, again, helping these people not just get better, but get on with their lives and become productive citizens here in Ohio. And, under the bill, even seal the record of the arrest and the, the, the prosecution that was held in abeyance. In other words, that individual will be, will be treated in the eyes of the law as never having committed a crime, never having been arrested for a crime. And that can be very helpful to these individuals as well. So what we've proposed in the bill is to, <clears throat> to say that uh, municipal courts cannot hear these offenses, these cases, these newly classified cases, unless they have a drug court. If they have a drug court, then they can handle them. And if that's what that local community wants to do as to how their, house their drug court in the municipal court, more power to them and they can proceed that way. But if they don't have a drug court, the cases will be heard in the common pleas court.